Holy cow, what's that? Oh, it was a tree. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, it's time for a plant update. We haven't done one for a while. First, I wanted to show off my awesome shirt. I got this from a subscriber turned friend, Christine. Uh, she sent me this shirt for my birthday. Look, tomato whisperer. Yeah, so whenever we're going to work on the tomatoes, I'm gonna wear my tomato whisperer shirt. I'm gonna feel bad getting it dirty, but that's what it's for, gardening. For me, anyway. Okay, we're gonna do a plant update and check on everything. We had some storms roll through the other night. So some stuff is knocked over, but let's just take a look at some stuff. Um, we're still at my house here. So here's the what the cucumber tower is doing. Um, I got a, a few little weeds there that I got to get rid of. That'll be a continuous theme during this tour. Um, but uh, look, the cucumbers are about uh, almost halfway up the tower. And I'm actually happy. It's been really hot. It's been like in the 90s or upper 80s and they're not pollinating, which is good. I don't actually want them to pollinate yet. I'd rather have them get up a little higher first. So I'm actually kind of happy about that. Uh, we had these massive, uh, this one tipped over. Oh, a few tipped over. These are like six foot, let me see. These are five and a half foot uh, milkweeds. That's pretty cool. Cause they're good. They got the awesome soil from my rock garden. Okay, uh, there's the elephant ear and one of its babies. So there's its newest leaf. Um, we'll look closer at that once it's got some bigger leaves. Here's the babies. Wow, these got a lot bigger. Do you guys remember these from the last update? These are some of the baby elephant ears that popped up right next to the big one down there. Um, we have this cucumber that I never set this trellis up for. I was gonna put these three <laughs> Uh, sunflower stalks from last year and make like a teepee, like a tower. I could still do that. I keep putting off like one day at a time. I'm just like, uh, I'll do it tomorrow. We got all my house plant, or uh, not all of them, but some of my house plants from my grow closet are now outside and they are loving it. Oh, wow, these are cool. Oh man, I don't really want to fill my grow closet back up. Kitty. What do you think we should do with the grow closet? Boop, 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 boop. Whatever. Okay, hey, uh, oh, let's go down and let's look at the yard pumpkin plant. I haven't done anything with it. When I say anything, I haven't done anything. <laughs> uh, the only thing I did is I put this stake in because it was trying to go down that way and I wanted to at least come this way. Oh, there's a beautiful flower. This thing is not ready for a flower. Oh, I saw a cuke bug. Did you guys see that? Wow, this is a good little shot though. Uh, oh, unfortunately, let's snap that off. Uh, this plant is not ready. It's all these leaves like collapsed into the weeds, but they're pointed upwards. Cause see, uh, when they're when it's just a single vine like this, the 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 leaves are prone to collapse. Look at this! Another female aborted. Look at this. This broke off and completely is completely full of water. So I'm gonna have to drain. Here, I'm just gonna poke a hole in it with my finger nail. Oh, I can't. Okay, I'll have to drain that stalk. Okay, but on a good note, it is finally starting to shoot out some. Uh, side vines. So there's a couple side vines coming. Um, it's already probably 20 feet long. No, that's more than 20 feet long. It's just in a weird shape. Well, let's see how long we can get it. So I'm trying to direct it now this way because it's a little sunnier over here. Look at that cobra head. That's awesome. So uh, we'll see. I'm just going to let it kind of, I'll, I'll probably start feeding it along the main vine. Um, I'm not going to bury it but it'll tap right into the grass. And um, if I really get some energy, I will maybe start propping up some of the leaves because they're gonna keep collapsing if there's not a lot of vineage and structure. Kitty, you cr are crazy, watch. The cat's gonna go up to the top. <gasps> Kitty, hello. How did you do that, Kitty? <laughs> Kitty, you're weird. Here. Hi. <laughs> Say hi to the viewers. You are weird. Look at that. Is this a good shot? 
Hello, Kitty, are you king of the mountain? Uh, king of the weeping mulberry. Jeez. Okay, uh, let's go look at the real plants over at the farm and see how they did uh, during the storm action. After the storm action. Okay, I'll be right back. GoPro, stop recording. Oops, okay, I stopped at the top of my driveway. I have uh, my giant tomato pots are up at the top of my driveway or the ones I have at my house here are and because they get more sun. Look at how much sunnier it is up here. Oh, beautiful. Uh, so I get at least more than a half a day of sun. So uh, yeah, these are just the giant tomatoes. They're still small. They're finally growing now and you know, they're starting to get bloom. See, there's a mega bloom already, but I probably won't keep that one. And look, the giant carrot is re-sprouting. So we're hoping to get some seeds. That's the unofficial state record, Wisconsin state record giant carrot, if you've seen that video. So yeah, it's regrowing. I'm hoping to get seeds from it. Uh, looks like I'm, it's time to start supporting these tomatoes. They're a little stretched out, ready to fall over probably. So I thought I'd show you that quick. Okay, I just hopped out of the vehicle. Everything looks okay. I mean, obviously I was here after the storms, but um, first off, where should we start? I can see some of my sunflowers are still knocked over. About half of the sunflowers got knocked over by the storm. Um, down there, my giant Indian corn was flattened. We'll go look at that. Some of this corn is flattened, um, but that's okay. All right, the most important stuff. Actually, I'll, I'll have to be sharing the good and the bad with you guys. Look, we can see pumpkins. Look at all these little shade covers and setups. Okay, let's let's talk about the good and the bad while we're standing here. Um, so, the good is we have plants left and we have lots of pumpkins. Let me make sure I'm recording. Hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yes. Yes, sir, I'm recording. I'm recording, please. Divert your eyes. What am I talking about? Okay, we have lots of pumpkins. So I've been um, setting them up as best as I can and covering them. Um, and I think we have already like 15 pumpkins set up. So let's go take a look at some of them. But first off, and another thing that happened that is bad is these are just my pretty much i'm growing these like commercial plants where i'm just letting them have a bunch of pumpkins and we're going to try to sell some little giant pumpkins um if we end up with a big huge one that'll be cool too we could still take it to way offs um but as you notice i or in the prior videos i didn't have any kind of stump covers and the stump stayed really wet so i already lost my biggest plant was right here and I lost it to what they call a foaming stump. And look, this is why they call it foaming stump. It's literally a foaming stump, guys. So I think what happens if, you are, if your stump gets too wet, if it's too wet right in this area, um, it, it'll, it can get rot going inside of the stump. And now it's there's rot in there and it's probably like bacteria foam and then the, the, the roots are pushing the foam out because they're putting pressure on it. Is that right? That's my guess. But I think it happens from too wet of a stump. So you're actually supposed to keep this area right by your stump dry. And you know, you're supposed to keep it kind of weed free like this, you know? So as you can see now over here, uh, I wanted this to dry out in the sun yesterday, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a cover here with these this PVC. I'm gonna put a cover on this so it doesn't get rained on. So now you can see this is a better setup for a stump. I removed some of the weed guard so the sun can dry this out a little bit. Um, I got all the weeds out. And then um, on, I did it over here too, but, and I have some card tables. So three, three of the stumps have card tables now. That's what I like to use, it's the easiest. I just smashed them into the ground. I sat on them. Uh, well, here, let's go look at one with a card table. Ooh, and then we'll look at some pumpkins. I'm excited. There we go. See, this is much better looking. So look, see how short the card table is? That's because I sat on it and I had too much McDonald's and it's smushed into the ground so it won't blow away. 
Oh my gosh, that's so much better. Why didn't I do that in the first place? So that's, that's pretty much the lesson learned is even when just trying to grow a commercial giant pumpkin patch, you can't really cut corners because the, 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 the uh, giant AG plants are just, they're too fussy. There's too many things that can kill them. Holy cow. When did that pumpkin get so big? What the heck? Weird. Okay, hold on. Let's look at some pumpkins now. So yeah, that was my, sh that was the biggest drama. And you know what? We're going to look. I have another stump starting to foam, starting to go, but I did surgery yesterday. So we're, I, I might have saved it. So we're going to look at that. This is kind of fun getting to keep so many. Um, so see, I, I always remove the blossoms because they rot on there. And I like to get some sun on here right away to uh, start drying that. Uh, so see, this vine doesn't have a pumpkin. So we can keep this one. Um, I don't know how that thing pollinated. It's been like 90 degrees every day. Um, hopefully that, that looks pollinated to me. Uh, I thought I'd show you this, guys. This is kind of neat. This vine a long time ago got rolled around in a storm and it split all kinds of spots from rolling like this in the storm. And look how good they can heal. This is all healed. And it doesn't affect the vine at all because see, it split the long way. If you have splits that go the long way, as long as they don't start getting um, disease or rot, it doesn't affect the vine at all really because see all the veins and tubes inside there carrying the liquids and stuff are running the long way. So, <laughs> so that's completely healed. It's kind of cool. Uh, this one, I wonder if I should uncover it till this cloth dries. I had them covered with these just cloth, but it just stays so wet and then the storm splashed all kinds of mud up onto the sheets. So I took them home to wash them. That's a nice little guy. Okay, let's go look at some pumpkins so this video's not too long. So this is my setup that I started doing. This one doesn't have sand yet, which I should do, but I started doing um, some styrofoam. I, I've done this in the past, it's easy. Uh, and it can go up, see? So it'll, it's adjustable. Ooh, that squeaking's awful. So that's a pumpkin. Here's a pumpkin that I might, this one's growing into the little gully here. So see, it's tipped, see? This one's like tipped down. I might grow this one Cinderella style on its blossom. So that might be an experiment. Dude, guys, I gotta show you something wacky. Okay, there is uh, this little tiny plant that looks awful is the giant cucumber plant. He's, oh, uh, I think something came in here. Either the storm or something might've came in to munched on it. I don't know. But yeah, it's not, it wasn't a priority. We just planted it there and it, it's kind of weeded in and the pumpkin plants taken over. But this is just a tiny little giant cucumber plant. And I was looking in here the other day. Look at this guys. Oh my gosh, look at this. Can you see this? Oh my gosh, this thing's probably six pounds now. This is a humongous cucumber. Here, let me get the weeds out of the way. Look it, that is so funny. That plant is tiny. I don't even know how it did that. So maybe next year we will um, actually grow one of them purposefully. Hopefully that'll get turn and get us some seeds. Uh, maybe we'll get another one. I Now that plant, I don't even know if it has growing tips on it anymore. But if we can get that plant to come out here, we could try to get a better controlled uh, growth. <laughs> Isn't that neat though? Okay, we got vines over here, which is good. I try to straighten them a little, but they're... There we go. Try to keep them sorted a little bit. Look at we got pumpkins everywhere. That's a nice roundy. Oh yeah, this is nice. Uh, this, all these flowers here are the giant radish seeds. This is the, I mean, we had one giant radish plant right there and it went to seed and look at all these weird flowers. I hope I, I get some, can collect some seeds somehow. Uh, it's pretty cool though. Oh, there's a pumpkin. Wow, it's really wet and muddy in here. There's a pumpkin. 
Look at this one, guys. What? I don't even understand. Wow, this is this is actually a scary shape to have. This is a really tall pinwheel. This is probably the weirdest shaped one if I looked. It's hard to tell from here, but one side, this right side's smaller and this side's thicker. There, can you see that? Um, it's a pinwheel, which is what a lot of them will be. Jeez, this thing, this thing got huge since yesterday. That's weird. Uh, I'm always a little scared. Let's see if I can predict. Um, when that, when I'm already seeing like an indented um, blossom end like this, this can be pretty thin walled in here and you can get a split, a crack. So let's see, I have a feeling this one could, could split back here. Let's see if my prediction comes true. Um, I hope it does not. But that's what's also kind of cool about having so many pumpkins. Wow, that one really exploded in growth. So we won't stop at every single one. Oops, we do have to position them better though. So see, this one's got a tiny piece. So see, look, this one's needs to start swinging out this way, you know? And I have to get more sand. Okay, we got pumpkins there. Let's go look at the one that I was trying to heal. I don't think I'm gonna be able to save it. Let's look at it. No, no. I was trying to save this one. I am not going to save this one. Okay, what I'm probably gonna do is cut this one off today. I'll probably cut it back here and drain it. I bet there's water in here. And we'll get rid of, we're gonna get rid of that one. It doesn't have a good shape anyway. So I don't know why I was trying to save it so bad. That one just has rot started and I couldn't control it. It's been too like wet and whatever. Wow, that's, that's a nice stem. Look at this. Holy cow, it's huge. Oh, here's the plant, see, wow, oh, sorry, the traffic's kind of loud. This plant has two or two pumpkins on it. <clears throat> this is the small, smallest plant. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, this is the smallest plant, I think, and this is the one I did surgery on yesterday. It looks really great right now, but I think it's gonna, it probably will wilt today in the, it's gonna be super hot today. So I might come over and spray this one down and see if we saved it. I'll show you what I did. So this was also a foaming stump. Yeah, there's foam in it right now. Yeah, there is. Uh, I'm gonna clear that foam out and look what I did. I actually, I made a drain spot. Oh, it's not draining though. Is it? Holy cow, we gotta go get the knife. Okay, hold on, let me show you what I need to do. Okay, let's go into the abyss of what is my car. Uh, let's grab this big giant knife and sterilize it quick. Okay, let's try to sterilize it a little bit with alcohol. All right, let's go do surgery. Do you like that? Put that in slow motion, editor. Um, okay, I thought I, I thought I made a plenty big cut th all the way through so it could drain. Cause we're gonna try to salvage this plant by fixing it. So you can actually cut these, you can cut a stump open that's foaming like this. And see, I actually went all the way through to the other side. There, I've gotta make it bigger. Look, can you see light through there? Look. Now it's gonna drain, I made the cut bigger. And let me see, sorry if you guys can't see, I gotta just look. There, there guys. Let me take you back off my head now. Uh, I can show you stuff better. There, look at this, you can see all the way through it. See, can you see my finger moving? There, this is how I want it guys. And if I had electricity out here, I would be blowing a fan in there. I can set up my little battery powered fan that I made. That's what I'll do. I'll show you my fan that I made. I made a little 12 volt fan out of the stuff from the dump. Yeah, I'll bring that over today. So yeah, so that is draining now. 
we might be able to save this plant, uh, which would be cool. But if we can't, oh well. I'm learning my lessons that you still have to do all the normal care, even if you're trying to just grow some commercial plants. Okay, we got more pumpkins. Ooh, it's really squishy over here. Let's get out of here. This plant's all wacky and wild. We got weeds. The wind, the storm must have blown the weeds in. Uh, I didn't have enough to do shade covers for everything. Wow, beautiful. So see, I should be, my hands are full now. Here, let's slide it over. There. Uh, yep, so we slide it over a little bit every day, hopefully. Uh, it's already in pretty good position. Want to make sure it doesn't run into something like that. Okay, let's cover it back up. Don't stab it with the knife. Uh, this is the only wacky little plant. This was like the runt plant. I was calling it the runt plant, but now it's kind of taken off. This vine was wilting yesterday. I don't know why more than the other vines, but this one does is the only one. This is not from my genetics, my 656. This is the only one that doesn't have a pumpkin. And you know what, guys? The other one I pulled out was also not a 656. I have a feeling every plant that's here, except this one, is from my 656 genetics. So these are all 656 genetics. This is something else, um, but it doesn't have any pumpkins on it yet. It's crazy. Wow, look at this, guys. Well, first off, I forgot, I wanted to show you guys, uh, look at this beautiful, not, uh, continuous row of tomatoes that goes as far as I can see, because I'm old, That's I can only see that far. Look at this awesome row, guys. Wow, them are normal tomatoes, not giants. Um, whoa, this plant, guys, is going to be colossal. This is my one long gourd plant. I gotta get up there and get the vines to get up on top. They're kind of struggling to, they're like hitting the top and then falling back down. Um, yeah, this plant is huge. I mean, for this time of year for me, you know, this started, started pretty late. Um, so yeah, it's climbing up there, but see, I gotta make sure, I just, I want a bunch of them vines to get up to the top. So I might have to get a ladder and kind of uh, tie them up a little bit. So this is a really cool plant. Look, I'm gonna let it, I'm letting it grow on the ground. Look, it's going to go, it's just going to go everywhere. It's just going to be a giant plant. Okay, so now over here we're on to the, these are eight giants. These are Domingo. Um, I forgot if these are, I'm trying to remember. These are from my own seed stock of from last year from the five pounders. Um, so we have eight plants here and I got an experiment I'm going to do. Let me, oh man, this grass is dewy. Uh, I got an experiment I'm gonna do. So, see, I had all of them staked. See these big, tall stakes? Um, so them four are gonna grow up on stakes like a normal person. And I have an extra bale of straw. I bought some bales of straw. I'm gonna spread that straw over here. I might have to get one more bale. Uh, I'm gonna spread the straw over here and I'm gonna train these plants to fall over onto the straw and we're gonna grow the plants sideways. Because a, a tomato is a vine. They call it, you know, they say tomato vine. It it literally is kind of like a vine. So if you can get them to lay on the ground, every spot where the, the stems dip down and grow horizontal, they'll shoot roots down. So maybe we can get massive root structures on these four plants by laying them down. <laughs> so we'll just see. It'll be a fun experiment. So, and we got these, we got the, um, what are they called? Volunteer plants that just came up. Uh, this is like a cross between a It's a lumpy pumpkin, so I don't know what it is. Could should I eat it? There I think it I don't even know what it is. Wait till you guys see this plant. There's a huge plant over here. I Thought it was maybe you guys can tell me what this is. Look at the size of this. Let me put my foot up by it It looked like a zucchini plant right away, but it's just monstrous and it's growing uh, these what are these? They're kind of lumpy and huge. Are these summer squash, but they're, or are they crossed? Or th is this a hybrid? 
because I don't really know my squash and stuff. So can you guys see that? They're really big. Or is that a summer squash? I'm just trying to figure out if I should eat it or not. Okay, so some of these uh, sunflowers tipped over a little. We got more pumpkins. This is a pretty big one here. Oh yeah, that's on the little plant. So yeah, I'm hoping um, we're gonna save that stump. I'll quick show you guys the, oh yeah, we should have looked at the Indian corn. Ah. It's not that important. It's just, it got flattened and it'll probably pop back up. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, let me show you guys the fan that I made. That's, I'm gonna just go get another battery for it. Um, the stuff that we grabbed from the dump. Good thing I'm not ashamed of my car. Oh, it's right here. Look at this guys, dump fan. So we got an old computer fan and a little piece of wood and the little well in this case 9.6 volt drill battery so it, it it runs for a while off one of these old batteries i got a bunch of them too so we can set that out in the patch um just connect these alligator clips this battery's dead but uh just connect them and then the fan will blow on that wound and we'll try to heal it so that'll be cool oh i have i had another thing to show you but i can show you next time i set up a tractor with a tank sprayer behind it so I can just drive along and foliar feed. So it's really fun. So I can spray over the whole plants by just driving along it with my other tractor. So it was really cool. I, I got the sprayer for like $30 and I fixed it and fixed it all up and ordered a couple, ordered something for it. And now it's awesome and we can foliar feed like crazy. So maybe we'll make a foliar feed video just for something to do in a few days. So, all right, well, that's the update um, on the commercial giants. Some good, some bad. Remember, cover your stumps, keep your stumps dry, or you have a chance of losing your plants. <laughs> all right, guys, see you on the next one. Hit like and subscribe. Bye-bye. Mr. Bird over there, hit the subscribe button. Sir, subscribe, please. Okay. Okay, see ya. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>